everybody, Jerry Bellini here from My Arts and Parts and My Year 2017 and today's video is our May prompt for our Facebook group and that is Think Spring and Tip It In. And so since it's my turn and I love flowers, we're going to make something flowery. And I'm going to zoom you in so you can see these. I decided to make a paper clip thing out of it. So we are thinking spring and we can tip it into our journal. So go grab your supplies and we will be right back and we will get started on this. Okay, the very first thing you need is some kind of um, fibrous yarn. Yeah, we're going to use yarn. And this is a novelty yarn yeah, and some regular uh, thread. And the first thing you're going to do, and it depends on how big you want these. So I made them in a bunch of different sizes. Okay, I made some tiny ones and bigger ones and whatever. So let's make like a medium sized one so that you can see what I'm doing. So I just used my fingers. You can use a ruler. You can use whatever you want. And I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers. Um... Oh, eight times. Okay, and then I slip my fingers out. Now, if you're going to do a big flower, you would wrap it around a lot more. But the smaller you make your flower, the less wraps you want because... Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Because... Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> because the flower will get too thick. Okay, if you make too many wraps and it's tiny. So here's my thread, and I'm just going to pick this up and wrap the thread around the center. I don't know, you guys, if anybody made pom-poms when they were little, it's kind of on the same premise as making pom-poms. So now I'm going to cut off uh, the thread and make sure I have a long enough piece. Now, the reason I wrapped it around a couple times was to it holds it in place. It's not going to sl slip and slide on me now. So now I can just lay it down and I can tie a knot in the thread. And I'm just going to tie uh, two knots and not worry about it too much because our next step is going to ensure that this does not come out. Okay, so two knots And then we're going to trim it short, and that's what we wind up with. Now we're going to spread it out into a round shape, a rounded shape. Now you can, or you don't have to, you have a choice here. You can cut the loops, which I like to cut the loops myself because it makes it a little more fluffy. You can cut, go in and cut the loops if you want to at this point. And you see what I'm doing when I say cut the loops? Just open up, open it up so that they're not loops any, any longer and they're just um, straight pieces. And, you know, I think I missed a couple. And if you missed some and uh, it still looks good, don't worry about it. And now you're just going to make it in a roundish, flowerish shape. You see that? Okay. Now, step two. We need some glue. And I decided to use um, this container of Mod Podge that I had. And let me tell you, this stuff stinks to high heaven. <laughs> but I had it. It's gloss. I am never going to use it uh, because, I don't know, I don't like glossy things. So I decided I might as well use it up on my flowers. So I want you to get yourself a piece of uh, parchment paper, or I'm using this, this um, pallet paper. So now we've got a piece of pallet paper, and the reason we're going to do this is we don't want our glue sticking. And this has a, um, a shiny, waxy surface on it. That's why I said parchment paper, wax paper, whatever, from the dollar store is just fine. So once we've got our... We're set up. Get yourself a little cup, put some Mod Podge in there, and 
I put a tiny little bit of water. Just, okay, here, I have a sprayer. So just give it a couple spritzes, okay? Not a big deal. Not a lot of water. All right, and here's my brush. And you're just going to put some Mod Podge on here and really saturate your flower. All right, I just wanted to show you, I sat for a few minutes and wrapped a bunch of yarn that I just had uh, laying around, little pieces. All you need is a little piece. And these are all glued and they're, they're in the process of drying. And every so often, um, you can hit them with a the blow dryer, but honestly, it's gonna take a long time. If you can just set them aside and let them dry, um, you're probably better off. But every once in a while, I go back and look at them and just kind of make sure that I'm happy with the um, shape. Because as they're drying, as they're getting stiffer, you can actually move them and you know help shape them. All right, I'm back. This one is almost dry and I you can you don't have to wait till it's totally dry because you're going to wet it up again with your paint. So, um, I just picked a few colors. put um, a bead or a button in the middle of this. All right, so let me get it over here so you can see it. And let me zoom in. Oh, I actually pushed it the right way on the first try. <laughs> right? It's cute, right? So These are for my penny circles. And um, yeah, I'm going to use these on the back of my flower because that's what I did on the back of that one. How cute that looks. All right, I'm back and I hot glued a little button on there and um, I think it looks cute and I left, there was a little thread in it, I left the thread in it. I think it looks cute. So now I'm going to turn it over and this is the orientation that I want it to have. So I'm going to turn it over. And here's my little piece of uh, felt that I'm going to put on the back of it. Let's just check it out. It is going to show through the flower, but um, I don't want to, I may, maybe I'll trim it just a little bit more. I don't want to make it too small because I want it to cover the, um, the paper clip. And I'm using a bit of a bigger paper clip. It's the biggest one I have other than that pink one. So I'm going to use this and I am going to hot glue it. You don't have to. You can, first I'm going to hot glue this on. And make sure that you put that round part of the paper clip down. Okay. Um, and don't use an awful lot of hot glue because it, it will go right through your flower. Okay, so give that a second to dry. And then let me zoom you in a little bit. All right. You know, hot glue dries pretty fast. I don't know if this is going to really stay. Um, you know, if I beat this up a lot, the hot glue will pop off. I would use this fabric tack in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. I'm just doing this because it's going to dry on camera. So now here's my um, little piece of uh, felted wool. You could use um, regular felt. Um, I don't know. You could use a piece of fabric, a little piece of cotton fabric and just push it there, push it down. Hot glue dries so fast. 
Okay, so here we are, and we finished our cute little flower in our lesson today, and here's the other two that I made, and as soon as these um, dry, I will make flowers out of those, and I will take pictures and put them at the end of the video so you can see. So Use up your yarn scraps, have some fun, make some paper clip flowers for your journal, and I will see you again in another day or so. Bye, guys. Hope you, oh, I forgot, almost forgot to tell you. Hope you have a blessed day full of love and art. How could I forget to say that? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.